What does a data analyst actually do? Don't they just push buttons and the data magically turns into actionable insights? Find out right now. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Matt Bratton, founder of tmbanalytics.com, your analytics career headquarters. And in today's video, we are going to cover what it is that these data analysts actually do all day. So let's just jump right in. What I wanna cover first is actually a bit of prerequisite knowledge that any effective analyst should have as they start working in a new organization. Now, this is going to include developing an understanding of the business, such as what are the departments? What are the systems each department relies on? What kind of data is being produced by these systems and where does that data flow? It is important that you know where and how to tap into the various sources of truth. So the less mature the company, the less structured this is likely to be and the more disparate the information systems. But either way, you're gonna to need to be familiar with them in order to be effective as an analyst. Some examples of these systems could include your financial systems, the operational platforms that you run on, the sales and marketing systems and tools, or if everything's just piped into a central data warehouse or data mart, understanding that process and just generally getting familiar with the organization and how the data flows is going to be a very, very valuable use of your time up front. Another good use of your time early on that I don't think gets nearly enough love is the importance of understanding the business model of your company. Now, this opinion comes from my background in finance and the thinking behind this is all roads lead back to the bottom line. And what I mean by that is, if you don't understand how your business makes money, you could find that your analyses start completely missing the mark in some cases. So having that lens to really view the requests through is always going to be a valuable thing to have. With those prerequisites in mind, if you're new to a company, let's say you started in the past six months, these are gonna be the things that you'll wanna make part of your mental priority list to help you ramp up more quickly and start contributing in a more meaningful way. So focus on job number one, obviously, whatever it was that you were hired to do, but then any spare moments should be used to better understand the business, how the data flows, all right? Prerequisites aside, analysts are internal consultants who support the various areas of the business. So from a day-to-day -day perspective, your tasks are likely going to vary depending on the needs of the business at any given time. So if, for example, marketing is ramping up certain efforts, you may get pulled in to help with some predictive planning, some post-mortem evaluation of campaign success, or anything in between. And that's gonna require a lot of communication with the business to make sure that the objectives are clear, outcomes are understood, and then you can go get on your merry way of knocking things out by pulling, cleaning relevant data, doing all the analytical fun things that us analysts get to do. Now, before I go any further, I do think that it's important to also highlight something that may ruffle some feathers, but I don't care because I think it's important to mention. Reporting is not analytics. I hear these things get conflated on a regular basis and it drives me just a little batty at times, but analysts may perform reporting functions, yes. In fact, it's often one of the most common tasks that early career analysts find themselves doing because it gets you into the data, familiar with cleaning, organizing, presenting, but reporting itself is more like heat mapping or a precursor that can actually lead to analytical projects. You know how I say good data drives good questions, good questions drive better data and better analyses. Yeah, the reporting is where all that good data starts. It's you creating that window for the organization to peek through and get a view at what's going on. And your ability to make that view a clear one is critical. So while important, the act of querying data and just throwing it into Tableau is not in and of itself analytics. You can and should inject analytical thinking into the process where you're considering the, the user objective, the user experience, and you add functionality proactively that'll help the user be better able to self-service and answer their own questions before they need to be asked. But it's still just reporting. And I don't say that to diminish reporting, it's a critical thing that an organization have a solid reporting function in place. It also just needs to be clear that reporting is not the same as analytics. Now, the actual reporting to analytical work ratio is gonna be a bit of a sliding scale in that the more experienced the analyst, often the less time you spend curled up with your favorite data set, 
busting out reports because not only are you more efficient, but you've likely also established yourself as someone who can be leaned upon for more intensive types of consultation, which is to say your time is more valuable doing things beyond querying and cleaning data. In fact, where you might spend most of your time is on the QA process, which sadly I also don't hear a lot of people talking about, but that's where a good chunk of your time could well be spent. And to be clear, it wouldn't be because you're just looking for errors, rather you're interpreting your own results. You're reviewing your work, you're formulating your own questions, putting on the hat of the consumer and predicting their questions so that you can go back and build more supporting information so that when it comes time to share your analyses, you're already three steps ahead and the conversation can go much farther, much faster with the stakeholders. Many people think of QA in terms of simply just making some numbers tie, dates are correct, making sure, uh, but I view it very differently in that I see it as an opportunity to test drive what you've just created and make enhancements as needed before go live. So what does all this mean? Did I even answer the question of what an analyst actually does? Eh, maybe not because th there really is no right answer. But in general, here is my punchline. So if you're new, let's say you've got under three years in the game, most of your time is going to be spent swimming in the data, drinking from the fire hose and learning about how your company does things. That's the covering the tool stack, the business model and beyond. And you're gonna be pulling data, cleaning data, building reports for probably 80% of the time. The other 20% is gonna be a combination of just ad hoc work and general business learning. As you get more experience, let's say you're three to five years now, you'll be likely creating more complex views on the data via reporting, which will lead to spin off ad hoc analytical requests. And that's gonna start over time to consume up to 80% of your time while the reporting is more in maintenance mode and driving the other 20%. From here, your next career move is likely gonna be a shift into either management or further down the individual contributor track, which turns into a completely different conversation about time management. So, so that's it. If you're an analyst, let me know what you think about everything that I just said. How do you spend your day on a day-to-day -day basis? Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you have anything to add, I'd love to hear it. If you got value from this video and you'd like to see more content from me, I do drop new videos every week. So go ahead and check out my channel. Be sure to subscribe, turn on those notifications, and that's all for now. Thanks for watching.